Howdy, Sailor the Piper Man, Piper the Sailor Man here. Coming to you from the island of Puerto Rico to all my mates. Sea Love and Salties, Polywog and Shellbacks. <laughs> Praise God. That's the most important thing. Praise Him. We're alive. We're kicking. As long as I'm breathing, roof over my head, clothes, my health, food at the table. The essentials of life give give God thanks and the glory you know other people don't have that opportunity I have this opportunity to smoke as you guys know I bought the uh, uh, bulldog relief from Stanwell look at this beautiful little thing man you can clinch it you know I can clinch it it's nice, it's uh, cozy. You know what I like about certain pipes? They give the smoke a character. Like you could, you could, put, you could uh, put a pipe and sometimes they look ridiculous. Sometimes they look pompous. But this tried and tested bulldog gives you more classic old world last century you know someone that was walking their dog or hiking or, or playing golf with his cat taking a long stroll in England or in America you would look at this pipe and say that's that's for a serious pipe smoker man you look at all the pictures serious pipe smokers Bulldog, a Kurt Peterson, not these fancy dancy, but that's okay if you like that, or or somebody out there in the open field of Iowa with a corn cob gives you somehow gives the person character. Not every not every pipe I put in my mouth gives me character, but when one does, it's like a hat. A certain hat gives you. A flare. It looks appropriate. My hat looks appropriate. This looks appropriate. You know, look, gray hairs look appropriate. Not that I do it intentionally. It's just you end up having this classic look. Walk. I walk with a with a stick. It didn't mean to. I got a bad knee. So when I walk with it, and the clothes I wear tend to be more conservative. Um, and so when people see me, they say that I have this classic look about me. I, and so a pipe does the same. That's that's what I want to get. I see people, you guys with pipes. Mo the majority you look okay. And then some of you don't look right with that pipe. But hey, if you love your pipe, great. But I'm just saying the classic bulldog pipes, classic bench shape, classic charity, you know. And, uh, and then what you smoke is utmost important. For me, when, when I see somebody with a bulldog, and then smoke half and half, or smoke something from the last century, that smells familiar to me because men during that time smoke that around me, businessmen, newsboys, men, uh, workers. And so I, instinctively, I think over, I think, wonderful thoughts well here with the bulldog I chose to to smoke Cavendish okay number one Cavendish is not a tobacco it's a process in which this particular tobacco is made and ends up being called Cavendish or tobacco Cavendish Okay, but I want to tell you a little history about about it because I, I found it very interesting. The fact that I that I was a sailor, I also found it interesting. Cavendish, or what is now called the tobacco Cavendish, but basically you could use whatever tobacco 
in the process to make cabbage, you can do burley, you can use Latakia, Virginia's. But this is the process in which it darkens the tobacco, right? It's, it's what's called Cavendish. <clears throat> okay, Cavendish was named after Sir Thomas Cavendish, who was knighted after his first voyage coming back. Queen Elizabeth knighted him. Who was he? He was an English explorer. He was a privateer. He was called the Navigator because he would emulate Sir Francis Drake's raid on Spanish Spanish towns and colonial towns in 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 uh, the Caribbean. These guys, when you say privateer, is basically a legitimate pirate for the the, the Queen of England. So uh, obviously, he died in in 1592. So it tells you. And he died at the age of 31, you know, on, on his second trip. He circumnavigated the globe, which is, I find, interesting. Uh, he wasn't the first one to do it. Of course, Magellan and, and some other people. I think America Dispute did it, too. I'm not sure Henry Hudson, but these were explorers, men of the sea. He was a great navigator. Uh and learn from others. You know, he wasn't uh, learned. Uh, he would, his friend was Francis Drake. Both lived during the time of Queen Elizabeth. Uh, he became very rich, much more rich than Francis Drake. Uh, he captured uh, the Santa Ana, which was Spain's greatest prize and all the gold in it. Gold to bloom or whatever they call it. And he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth. So he, he's well known. He was well liked. He learned from others. He emulated others. But this part, a lot of people don't know, especially if they don't smoke tobacco. Cavendish, Sir Thomas Cavendish, developed a process. He had visited the, the United States and he was given tobacco as a gift. I got, I got air here, here. So, excuse me. He was given tobacco, he was given Virginia tobacco and Burley as a gift. And he was trying to find a way Maybe somebody else did it, and they told him about it, and then he ended up doing. He ended up taking tobacco. Pressing it together. Boiling it or steaming it. So what ends up happening is the tobacco begins to ferment. Change colors. It begins to ferment, but Virginia has sugar. So as it fermented, it becomes darkened, and then they press it, and they put it in barrels. Now, over the years, there has been many different uh, developments. The British have a way of doing it. The English, so do the Dutch. And uh, to find more about it, you can go ahead. The Danish have an excellent way of doing it. Uh, the British do too. But the British don't get into turning their... If we doesn't like... The majority don't like tobacco that are too sweet. So they develop a different process. Peterson has a... One tobacco that they, they use brown Cavendish. It's not an aromatic... They just, just to sweeten it just slightly, they use it. Uh, Peterson, that bought Dunhill. And the Dutch, of course, love Virginia, Burley. But the English, it's interesting, the English prefer the process to, with Oriental tobacco, which I did not know. So the English go ahead and take Latakia, 
they take Oriental, and they take Virginia, they boil it or steam it. It might be different the way they do it. Let it sit, let it ferment, put it in barrels. And some, in, in the last century, even added some sugar, sugar cane, which it's not natural, but they can add sugar cane and sweeten it a little bit more. I found that very interesting. And really enjoying this is my third bowl. And uh like I said, I got K Woody coming here. Bulldog. And then I'm gonna get a Peterson. Those three lines. Peterson Englishmen are known to smoke bulldogs. Americans. Danish. So I'm gonna get three bulldogs and just leave them there. And part put it a part of my collection. What I liked about the bulldog is very functional. Put it in my pocket. Walk, stop anywhere, have a small smoke. It's not too heavy. They smoke very well. They're not as expensive as others uh, pipes. So, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm happy. If you're happy with your... Well, this Cavendish is American Cavendish. Made by Sutliff. Who I, I happen to buy. They have a, a value pack called Cavendish. This is nice. This is not sweet, sweet, sweet. But some of you like a lot, a lot of flavor. So I still like sweetness, but I like to taste the tobacco. This blend here, Virginia and Burley. No lot of care. It's for the money. It's. it's Really, I'm gonna stay with it. I'm gonna buy it again. And uh, it's, it's very nice. It's very, very rich. And I'm just gonna keep it in stock. It's a nice change of pace. I can smoke it all day. You know? It leaves me with a great, great aftertaste. Nothing's worse than smoking, and it gives you a bad aftertaste. So this pipe is basically going to be my Cavendish pipe. That's it. Well, I hope you like the, the There's a lot more to Cavendish than what I spoke on. I mainly, mainly wanted to touch on Sir, Sir Thomas Cavendish. People tend to forget who it was. And, and here, being that he's English, Cavendish has to be credited to the English, <laughs> being English. And he held with Sir Francis Drake and Sir Walter Raleigh made pipe tobacco very popular, especially Cavendish because those, those that like Little Sweet, they got their particular blend. And not only that, it helped boom the economy in the United States. You know, Jamestown colonies, those beginning colonies in the United States. So I found that very interesting. And so that's it. Say the Piper Man, Piper the Sailor Man. I hope you enjoyed. If you like my take on certain other histories, let me know. If not, that's okay. So happy smoking. And let me know what you think. Love you guys.